Hola, yo soy Jordan, and this is a Spanish quickie. Fast, easy Spanish lessons from somebody who speaks your language. So far, we've talked about four forms of nouns, and don't worry, there's no more to go over. But we've never listed them all together, all in one place. So let's do that now. There's singular male, singular female, plural male, and plural female. So we can have chico, chica, chicos, or chicas. Now that we know all four forms of a noun, we can start to talk about those other ramifications I mentioned in the video called the sexualization of nouns. Remember, the form of the noun affects the form of other words in the sentence because they all have to match. Today, we're just going to focus on two of those ramifications, the two most common ones, definite and indefinite articles. <laughs> Okay, we kind of touched on this in the sexualization of nouns video. In Spanish, the word the has to match the noun. So boy is chico, but the boy is el chico. Remember that? El is the for singular masculine nouns. But to say the girl, we use la instead of el, so it's la chica. That should be familiar to you already. But since then, we've gone on to learn the plural forms of nouns. So more than one boy is chicos. What I didn't teach you is the plural forms of the. The masculine plural form of the in Spanish is los. So the boys would be los chicos. Going the other way, the plural female form of the in Spanish is las. So the girls would be las chicas. Bottom line, the word the actually has four different translations in Spanish. El, la, los, and las. Which one you use depends entirely on the form of the noun. It has to match exactly. There are no exceptions to that. Okay, so what about those weird words I used in the opening of this video? Definite and indefinite articles. Well, the is a definite article, and the word a or an is an indefinite article. If you point to a bowl with only one apple in it and say grab the apple to somebody, they know definitely which apple you wanted them to grab. There's only one apple and furthermore you said the. But now picture a bowl full of apples and you say grab an apple to somebody. They would know that you're talking about any one of the apples because you said an. So the possibilities are indefinite. The indefinite article is a or an and speaks of any one of the apples in a group of apples. Don't get too hung up on those terms. They'll never come into play. It's just using terms makes teaching and learning this stuff easier. You already know all the definite articles. El, la, los, and las. And those all mean the. The indefinite articles work the same way. You have to make them match their noun. Un and una means a or an. You use un for masculine singular nouns. A boy would be un chico. Then una is for feminine singular nouns. A girl would be una chica. On the plural side of things, we use unos and unas. You add an os to un and an s to una. Both unos and unas basically translate to a few or some. Some boys or a few boys would be unos chicos. Some girls or a few girls would be unas chicas. Make sense? See why you shouldn't focus on those terms, definite and indefinite articles? You don't need them. If you want to say the, you'll use el, la, los, or las. That's when you're referring to a specific boy or a specific apple. If you want to say a, an, some, or a few, you'll use un, una, unos, or unas. Use those words when you don't want to refer to specific boys or apples. This isn't hard at all. Once you practice it a little, it becomes subconscious very quickly. To help bring that moment forward, I created a little articles worksheet for you. Here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to gringoespanol.com slash articles and download the articles worksheet I made for you. It shouldn't take very long at all, and if you can do 
that worksheet successfully, you'll basically know this material and will never have to worry about it again. The answer key is also located at gringoespanol.com slash articles. So go there now, do the worksheet, then call a friend and tell them how awesome these videos are. Or you can just click the like button and the big thumbs up. Oh yeah, and you know I'm gonna have to start doubling up on colors, right? They only make so many of these. I'll see you next time. Hasta luego. Adios, amigo. Thank <laughs> you.